get started. Clap to sync things up. All right, perfect. Hey there, tech heads. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and welcome back to another video. Now, today we're gonna to be taking a look at this microphone right in front of my face. This is the Yodo USB microphone. And while it doesn't have any traditional bells and whistles like you might expect, this microphone does pack quite a punch. Let's take a look at why I say so. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's take a look at what comes inside the box. So here we can see it's a pretty long box and that's because it's a full microphone kit, not just a microphone. And we can see on both sides that it's compatible with both Windows and Mac and it's basically just a plug and play USB microphone. It's got the cardioid polar pattern and some other specifications at the back. Now, opening the box, we're greeted with the pop filter and the foam filter at the top, as well as the user guide, which I carelessly tossed aside. We're also greeted with some beads or something like that. And yeah, like I said, this is a pretty high quality foam filter, but the main thing I was interested in was the pop filter itself. Now, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It's actually made of metal all around and it feels quite premium. Putting that aside, we lift the foam packaging and we're greeted with the main components of the microphone. Yeah. Here we have the clamp for the boom arm. Next, we've got the mic clip also made of metal all around. We've got a cable tie. Here we have the USB-A to USB-B cable. And next up, we've got the boom arm. It's also made of metal. It feels very rigid and sturdy and actually feels very high quality. Finally, we've got the microphone itself included in this white plastic packaging. And as you can see, the microphone is also made of metal. We've got the Yodo branding in the front. It actually has quite a heft to it and nothing else on the body. So no tally lights and no volume knobs. All right, so if we're taking a look at the build quality of this microphone, it actually feels quite premium because it's mostly made of metal. The boom arm or the shock mount is made of metal. The microphone clip is also metal. The microphone itself is metal all around and the pop filter is also made of metal, which is quite interesting or which is quite good because a lot of microphones that you might find at less than $100 might have a bit of plastic or a couple of plastic pieces here and there. This is not one of those microphones. All right, so the Yodo USB microphone has a cardioid sound pattern, meaning that the sound comes directly from the front of the microphone. That's like for optimal, um, that's where you get the best sound quality from. And it tries to isolate or it tries to cancel out any noise coming from behind the microphone. Now we're gonna do a sound test. The audio you're gonna hear from here on out is not gonna be edited or touched in any way whatsoever. So you can hear how the microphone sounds directly without any sorts of temperament or anything whatsoever. All right, so this is the audio coming from the Yodo USB mic without a foam filter or a pop filter. This is directly from the microphone to your ears. If I successfully manage to match it up with the video and I do not screw anything up. So <laughs> fingers crossed. Okay, now this is the sound quality coming from the Yodo USB mic with a foam filter on top of it. Let me know if the sound quality is a little bit different or if there's any sort of difference whatsoever in the comment section down below. All right, now this is the sound quality of the Yodo USB mic with both the foam filter and a pop filter in front of it. Let me know if there's any difference because it might not really do that much with the both of them, but uh, we'll see. And this is the sound quality of the Yodo USB mic with only the pop filter in front of it. So yeah, this is the setting I prefer to use. I'm not sure if um, having both the foam filter and the pop filter does anything special for the audio quality, but I'm just learning. So if you've got any suggestions on how to make the audio quality better or on what um, setting is the most preferred, please leave that down in the comment section down below. By the way, if you've been enjoying this video, please subscribe as it would go a long way in helping the channel. Thank you very much. All right, and now I'm gonna test the plosives on this microphone. So we're gonna hear 
um, I'm gonna be saying some words that have a lot of p and b sounds, and we're gonna hear if they actually like pop a lot, I guess, in the microphone. But basically, you understand what I'm trying to say. So, um, here we go. Peter Piper picked the peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked the peck of pickled peppers, how many pickled peppers were in the peck he picked? I have no idea what I just said, but yeah, we were just trying to test the plosives and let me know if they actually came out in a very weird way. So, um, yeah. So for the specifications of the mic, we've got a cardioid polar pattern, like I mentioned earlier, a sensitivity of minus 42 plus or minus three decibels, a frequency response rate of 100 hertz to 18,000 hertz, an impedance of less than 680 ohms, a uh, sampling rate of 192 kilohertz per 24 bits and to be honest i don't really know a lot about these specifications because this is my first professional microphone but i will do my best to try to learn more about audio and audio from these types of microphones but i guess these are pretty good specs based on the audio quality that we are getting from the mic right now here you can listen to the difference in audio quality between this Yodo USB microphone and my Daydy VLAV Mattel microphone that I'm currently wearing. So this is the audio quality coming from the Daydy VLAV microphone and this is the audio quality coming from the Yodo USB microphone. Let me know what you think sounds better in the comment section below. Alright, so when it comes to my verdict on this microphone, personally this is my first professional microphone so I might be a little bit too impressed but I am very, very happy with this microphone. The sound quality is beautiful. And regardless of the fact that it doesn't have those bells and whistles I mentioned earlier, like a tally light or a volume knob, the sound quality of this microphone makes up for all of that. So should you get it? In my opinion, yes, of course, go ahead. If you want to start out with YouTube or podcasting or something of the likes, I think you should actually go ahead and get this microphone because it is definitely a significant improvement over anything that you might have used up until this point if you haven't used another professional microphone like this. And at $70, it actually does not break the bank. You can definitely find microphones that are way more expensive than this and would give you not much better sound quality or not a significant improvement over this. So yeah, definitely. Plus, you get a free shock mount or boom arm. You get a free pop filter and the lights in the box. You get a full microphone set for just $70. So think about it. And if you'd like to get this microphone on Amazon, I'll have affiliate links in the description below so you can get the microphones at no extra charge to you and I'll get a little kickback from that. With that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done that already. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers and it would be amazing if we could get there quickly. Also, make sure to check out our podcast. Links will be in the description box below. Trust me, the audio quality is going to increase by tons because I finally have a good microphone now. And check out previous videos if you haven't done that already. So with that said, you stay cool, stay safe, wear your mask as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.